Did you know, here in Moreton Bay, it's home to around about 700 inshore bottlenose dolphins. We have around about 800 dugongs, 2,000 loggerhead turtles, and up to 10,000 green sea turtles. And during this winter, we can expect to see around about 17,000 humpback whales migrate past Morton Island. And this happens every year between June to October. It's just so important that we look after our marine and wildlife. Here at Tangaluma, we perform many rescues all the time. Sometimes we can help, but unfortunately, sometimes it's just simply too late. One of the big issues that our marine and wildlife face is that they mistake plastic bags and rubbish for food. This rubbish washes down our stormwater drains, it eventually flows out into our rivers and lakes, and then into Moreton Bay, which will eventually flow out into our oceans. Birds, turtles and other marine life like eating things like balloons, lolly wrappers and lids from disposable bottles because they look like food, just like plastic bags. Plastic bags floating around our oceans look like jellyfish and lots of marine creatures love to eat jellyfish. Plastic was only invented 100 years ago and now our oceans are full of plastics. Did you know that there's several garbage patches in the middle of our oceans. Now what happens is, is all the rubbish that's in our oceans, all the currents take it to this one section. And that's where the rubbish swells around. And one of these garbage patches is as big as Queensland. It's a bit sad to see some of these pictures. Together, we can stop adding to this mess. We can create a change and show others how to do the same. It's hard to change our habits, but if we can help people understand how great it is, if they say no to plastic bags when buying only one or two things, it will make a big difference. So every time we reduce our use of plastic, pick up rubbish or say no to a plastic bag, there is a chance we may just save a turtle, a dolphin, a bird, or many other types of marine and wildlife. There are many happy, healthy animals out there, and it's up to us to keep them happy and healthy.